My entitled mother showed her real self and now no one loves her anymore. Now, you all know from my last post that my mother tried to act like she's in charge of my life and also acted like my house was hers to give away. Well, that ended very badly for both her and my spoiled sister because I threatened to expose them. And that whole incident inspired me to get cameras for my house inside and outside. My dad was old school. He didn't care for cameras at home. Heck, he didn't even care for TV save for the occasional movie. He mostly enjoyed his scotch with a cigarette and a good book. But now I own this house and cameras were a very needed upgrade. And just in case my girlfriend and I didn't tell anybody outside of our close friend circles about them, and those that do know were sworn to secrecy and kept their word. A couple of weeks had gone without a word from my mother or my sister other than what I was seeing on my sister's social media. She was constantly complaining about having to live in our mother's basement, and I'm pretty sure she was making our mother miserable for it. But what came next surprised me. I got a frantic call from my sister saying that her boyfriend was questioning whether or not he was the father of her pregnancy and he was threatening to leave without a paternity test. My sister swore up and down to me that she's always been faithful to him. And I admit, I believe there was a chance she could be lying because our mother's own past affair made our father question our paternity as well. So I questioned they get the DNA test. But my sister just babbled about how they don't have a lot of money and I offered to pay for it so long as she didn't come to me asking for money or favors often, and she quickly agreed. I arranged for the test and even shelled out extra to make sure that we got the test results ASAP, but it would still take a few days. I hadn't yet met my sister's boyfriend, but when I did, I started to understand a bit more. He's half Hispanic, and my mother, though not open about it, is quite the closet racist, something she got from my grandparents, sadly. I decided to try and talk to the guy and took him out for a beer. And while at the pub, he spilled his guts to me. He said that my mother had been whispering in his ear about how my sister is just like her, and she cheated before. So my sister might have as well. This made him have doubts that grew every day, and he said he wasn't sure my sister didn't cheat or get pregnant on purpose to try and baby trap him so she won't have to work anymore than she already does with her little part-time online sales job. Sadly, I knew he was probably right about the latter, but other than that, he's described her as a completely different person when she's not around our mother. But ever since they've been living in my mom's basement, she's become more and more like a child. After what I saw at the house, I wholeheartedly believed him. So I asked if he suggested she get therapy. He admitted he wanted to, but didn't have the money, and had been walking on eggshells around her and our mother for a while, so he never talked about it. Well, I guess that made some brotherly instincts I didn't know I had still kick in, because I started to realize if I was going to have a niece or nephew, I couldn't let them live or be raised by my mother. So I did the only thing I could do. I told him that if the DNA results came back positive, I'd offer him a job and training at the company I now own. He very quickly agreed because he doesn't want to live with my mother any more than he has to. Well, the day of the DNA test results coming in the mail came pretty fast, but my sister called me saying they weren't in the mail she'd gotten that day. I asked who got the mail from the P.O. box and she answered it was our mother. That pretty much confirmed my theory she was trying to force out my sister's boyfriend. But since I don't and never really have trusted my mother with my sister's consent, I preemptively got to the clinic to send a copy of the DNA results to my address as well. And they did come in the mail the same day. I called my mother and asked if she had taken the DNA test results and the following conversation is more or less what I recall since it wasn't recorded. OP. Hello, Mom. I heard that my sister's DNA test didn't come in the mail today. Mom says, Oh, uh, yes, but it could have been here soon. Did you take it? I know it arrived today as I paid to have it sent as priority mail. What? How dare you accuse me of such a thing? I would never. Okay, then. I guess I'll just bring over the backup copy that was sent to me. B -b -b backup copy? Yeah, I had one sent to me as well the same day since I paid for it. Sis gave her the okay and everything. I guess I'll just call her and then we'll meet up. Wait, 
there's no necessary. And then you hear a click noise as she had hung up the phone and called my sister right away. I picked up my sister and her boyfriend from my mother's house and drove to a local diner restaurant. And there we opened the envelope together. Sure enough, the test results were positive. My sister's boyfriend was so happy that he actually asked her if she would marry him. And she said yes, like half a dozen times. The little vindictive part of me was just waiting to see my mother's face when she got the news. But what happened next honestly shocked me. When I took my sister back home, hers and her boyfriend's stuff was in the process of being put out onto the lawn by a few men we didn't recognize. My sister froze with a look on her face I'd never seen before. Our mother came huffling outside in a rage while holding the DNA test results she claimed never arrived and began verbally tearing into my sister. My mom said, how could you make a baby with that racial slur? I thought your dating him was just a stupid phase, but now you're going to have his baby and marry him? I would have been sort of okay with having his little bastard around if it weren't raising in my home and racial slur wasn't around anymore, said while pointing at my sister's boyfriend. But mommy, I know, buts young lady, I demand you abort that little word I don't want to use from your belly right now or leave my house at once. Then she turned to me while snapping her fingers and said, quote, and you, I hope you're proud of yourself. I tried to make this family normal, but you wouldn't do as I say like a good son should. And now all of my plans are ruined. You're all a bunch of racial slurs. Meanwhile, my sister was on her knees in the grass and holding her belly crying, I can't, I can't. But my mother then actually grabbed my sister's hair and was poised ready to take a swing at her. But one good glare from me and she froze in her place and then rigidly lowered her arm. So she just let out a loud growl and stormed back into her house screaming, quote, She's your problem now, Craggle. I no longer have any children. That night, I put my sister and her boyfriend up in a hotel till a friend of my lawyer that works in real estate helped arrange an apartment for them ASAP. And like I promised, I gave the sister's boyfriend a job. He's new and pretty much starting at the bottom of the rung, but he's a quick learner. And it'll take a while, but I'll get him in a good position, and he's very happy to work for me. My sister is now in therapy, paid for by my company's insurance, and has already started to act more mature than I've ever seen her. She stopped referring to our mother as mommy and has started talking about her the way I do. She came to me recently and said she's working harder now, and told me I was right about her being a spoiled mooch and she's going to work hard to be a good mother and provider for her child. Her therapist seems to be really doing a great job. As for my mother, well, she actually drove up to my house in broad daylight when no one was home and broke several of my front windows with large rocks she had in a metal bucket. And the rocks had racial slurs written all over them. But thanks to those cameras I put in, she was caught pretty easily. I had the footage in police hands that same day. I didn't bother to ask for repayment for the damages she caused. The windows were old anyway, and it just gave me an excuse to remodel. But I hella pressed charges and even got a restraining order. She's not allowed within 500 feet of me or my property. She also took quite the downfall online as I had my dash cam in my car that picked up everything my mother said and did that evening she kicked my sister out. And this time, I did show it to the rest of my family. And my sister also told pretty much the same story on her Facebook that pretty much destroyed my mother's remaining image to her side of the family, so she's not really speaking much to them anymore. My mother didn't lose her job or anything because I didn't go that far. She's not set to retire for another decade or so, but some of her more petty relatives started submitting fake bad reviews for her Airbnb, and now she's probably losing customers. I've heard from one of the few relatives she's still talking to, she's pretty much depressed and looks like a shell of her former self now. Too long didn't read, my mother was a closet racist and stole the pregnancy test results meant for my sister that I paid for, and then booted out my sister for getting pregnant with a Hispanic man. I helped my sister start over, and now my mother has been outed and no one is left on her side. So she vandalized my house in retaliation, I got her arrested and she is now pretty much a social pariah. So let us know in the comments down below what you would do if you're OP in this situation. Be sure to like and subscribe and click on the screen right now for another Reddit story.